Uh, hi, this is Will from Dr. Pioner's class, and this is my presentation on Irving, Tent Pen, Irving Penn and his photography by Will Austin for Photography Honors. Uh, so a little bit about Penn's life. He was born on June 16th, uh, 1917 in Plainfield, New Jersey, and he sadly died on October 7th, 2009 uh, in Manhattan, New York. Um, he was married to Lisa Fonza Greaves, sorry if I uh, messed that pronunciation up, uh, in 1950. Um, not sure what that was. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So a little bit about Penn's style of art. Oh, and that was a picture of Irving Penn right there on the right. A little bit about Penn's style of art. Uh, he, he specialized in fashion style photography. He's really good. And he liked the, the whole fashion aspect of photography. Um, and he was one of the first photographers to use a simple yet effective gray or white backdrop, which is like kind of a standard and it's, it's pretty, pretty effective. He used it pretty effectively. Um, in my research, I only really saw pictures that were black and white portraits. A lot of them were, or, or his more famous ones were black and white portraits. Um, and one thing that was like special about Penn that made him stand out as a photographer was his great attention to detail. And you will see that later in the pictures. Um, some famous quotes by Penn, I will read them out to you. A good photographer is one that communicates a fact, touches the heart, and leaves the viewer a changed person. Having seen it, it is, it is in one word, effect. Perfect time. Um, another quote by him. Sensitive people faced with a prospect of a camera portrait, but they put a face they think is one they would like to show the world. Very often, what lies behind that facade is rare and more wonderful than the subject knows or dares to believe. And that was in 1975. And there's a picture of a young Mr. Penn. Uh, this is my first image. Um, in this picture, uh, he does a great job of capturing the photos, the, the person in the photos, uh, personality in the picture. Um, the first glance, without any background information on this person, you can tell that in the picture he's a young, suave, witty young man, just by his facial expressions and his, the way he's sitting in the chair. Uh, this combined with the beautiful, beautiful simplicity, um, not a crazy backdrop, simple clothes, simple chair, makes for an excellent photo. There's nothing extravagant going on in the picture. Very simple, but very beautiful. Ben has an eye for the finite detail. And is, you can tell in, the, in this picture. It's, it's really shows. Uh, image two. Uh, the second image is a whole lot like the first one and a whole lot different. Uh, it's much alike because Penn's consistent uh, simplicity. It's not, it's not crazy. It's not anything... Uh, he's not doing anything too, too weird. It's not overly insane or anything. It's very, it's very simple, but it's pretty effective. Um, and then the gray backdrop in the picture, it's not like any special color or craziness. Um, it's just pretty gray, white backdrop. Um, and it's different because in the first image, it was more, um, well, I'll go back to the first image. It was, it was, uh. Less the second image is less giving a personality to the person, and it's rather is um, leaves you wondering, and that that's really the image's ability to evoke your sense of wonder, along with the classic rules of composition such as symmetry. You can tell very symmetrical. Um, it makes for another excellent photo from Irving Penn. Uh, photo three, young Robin Williams. Uh, third image is uh. The picture of the recently deceased Robin Williams. It was in the same category as the other two. It's very simplistic. Um, it captures, like, obviously Robin Williams, but it captures his personality and his loving heart more than anything. Um, it, it's not trying to make him seem better and like a celebrity. It makes him seem very approachable. So you can tell he looks just like a loving caring person in the photo rather than someone that would be high above you in social status as i mentioned before and capability to uh to small detail details sorry 
and make everything look right. Um, in this photo, he does this, even the small details, like the way the hat's angled or the hand placement, it's all on purpose. Nothing he does is on accident. Uh, slide 11, image number four. Um, image four contrasts the rest of the images because this is a picture, uh, rather than being an image that's depicting the personality of the character, this one is mainly focused on fashion. Um, in the image, shows the subject wearing all black with a white backdrop uh, rather than a gray backdrop. Um, and the image was made to show the outfit of the subject. I'm not very up on fashion, but um, this picture was not really, it was more for the fashion sense rather than for the, rather than the uh, portrait in the last few photos. Um, image five, uh, the last photo. Uh, this image, uh, along with this four, is is to show, uh, the, it's showing fashion once again. It's Penn's uh, love for fashion photography. Um, for a short time, Penn worked for Vogue magazine, um, or for, for my fault, a significant amount of time, Penn worked for Vogue magazine. And it has a simple, it's again, very simple picture um, with the outfit of the subject popping out at you and the beautiful contrast of the black on gray backdrop. And the subject's face is also very simple and not anything extravagant. Um, that will pretty much wrap it up. Uh, in conclusion, Penn was a very simple yet effective photographer. And I had a lot of fun learning more about him. Thank you very much.